If you want an easy system to study 10 times faster than you currently are, you're in the right place. If you're new here, I'm Eileen and I'm a finance student at Virginia Tech right now, but I'm working in marketing and design. I've had hundreds of hours of studying. AI right now is absolutely huge and it's only gonna grow from here. So I highly recommend you take full advantage. If you're not using AI, you are falling behind. So I'm gonna share exactly how I use it to study smarter and a lot faster. Today, I'm gonna be specifically using a tool called Turbo AI and basically you can upload anything from lecture notes to recordings, PowerPoints, PDFs, full research papers, basically anything and it'll automatically turn it into notes, podcasts, quizzes, flashcards, etc. A mini reminder slash setup you need to do before we jump into part one is knowing that you actually learn a lot more when you're reviewing when than when you're first writing down the notes. So when you're in class and you're like absorbing this information, you're like writing it down, like you will actually learn more reviewing the notes that you wrote down rather than you writing them down, if that makes sense. So that is why it is really important to get clean notes first. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna head to turbo.ai. You're gonna type that into the browser once you get onto this dashboard page. As you can see, you have a couple of different options. You can upload a blank document, a PDF, doc, PowerPoint, audio, YouTube video. There are a bunch of different options, but for today's video, I have a notes document. These are my notes from before. It's like humongous, they're 45 pages, nothing is color coded, it's just an entire blob. And instead, now if you look at the notes that it just made me, everything is sectioned out perfectly so that you don't have to do any more grunt work. Turbo AI basically takes all the information and sections it out for you by topic, by again, section. And let's say you don't understand Fitz Law, go ahead and highlight it, click Ask Turbo, and ask it to expand upon it, and it's super, super fast. It'll just give you a definition, help you explain it. What if I'm like, oh, could you explain this subject more? Then yes, it can. And it's all right in one document. You don't have to navigate back and forth from ChatGPT, which is something that I personally love about using Turbo AI versus Chat. On the notes, if you wanna edit your notes document and ask, AI to edit directly on it. You can give it a second to cook. It'll ask where you want to write. Right now it is writing directly on the document. So I now have even more detailed notes that I can look at. Part two, you want to generate active recall questions. Rereading your notes isn't gonna do much. It's the, the most important thing is active recall, and that is when you're actively remembering information. Once you've uploaded your YouTube video, your lecture, or your PDF document, I'm gonna jump into an example right here. What's really great about Turbo is we also have this flashcard section that we can use, and it has all of these. Definitions are already on there which is perfect. Right now we have 25 terms, but there's if there's anything else that you wanna add, you can just go ahead and create a new flashcard and start typing on Now, even further than flashcards, we also have quizzes that we can study with. This is by far the most effective way that I have aced my exams is taking practice tests. With this, you don't have to create it yourself. The questions are also sectioned by the topic and if you get something wrong, you can ask AI right there to explain why it's wrong. And then if you wanna study and understand why something is wrong, there it is right there for you. This will save you hours and hours. Unlike Quizlet or other sites, I don't have to manually make every single flashcard or every single practice question. And so this is gonna speed up your study process by so, 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 so much. Third thing you can use to study if you're on a time crunch is listening to your notes whenever you're on the go. You're going to head to Turbo, this podcast section right here. You can choose a speaker and podcast length if you want. I want a long podcast this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate a podcast right here that I can listen to. Use AI as if it's your personal tutor. And when I say this, I want you to explain a concept that you're really struggling with, or even a concept you already know to the AI and then ask AI to basically fix what you just said. I have this YouTube video up about design in a computer. I'm gonna upload this to Turbo. 
and give that a second. Here are done and these are from the YouTube video but what I mean by this is you can use this voice feature and basically dictate anything that you're saying. Hi Turbo, I'm gonna try and explain examples of design constraints for you. Can I give you some examples and you tell me if they're right or not? I think a constraint is something like the size of a computer screen or a budget that we're working with. So now Turbo just said, I can definitely help you understand design constraints. Constraints are budget, hardware, time, platform, human factors, etc. Now my final tip if you're on a huge time crunch and you have an exam coming up is you want to use AI to make a cheat sheet. So the prompt is basically, hey, can you turn this into a one to two page cheat sheet right before my exam? And you're going to go onto the Turbo edit feature and ask it to do this. So, hi Turbo, can you turn this into a two page cheat sheet for me before my exam? This is the super long document that we have right now, but we're gonna turn it into a one pager. All right, so now Turbo just made me this entire two page cheat sheet that I can really dial in on and focus on and quiz myself with. If we go back to this flashcard section, you can see all of the most important terms and also go back to the quiz question to go through this exact study document. But overall, this is insanely helpful to reference so that you can like quiz yourself as you're going throughout the process. Sometimes I even like to print this document out to help me out. But now you have a perfect cheat sheet. That's pretty much all I have when it comes to studying with AI, especially with Turbo AI. It's one of my favorite study tools of all time. Do remember though that AI isn't always perfect and it's not gonna always get everything to a T. So I do find that, you know, writing things down is gonna be really helpful. Teaching it out loud to a real person or a friend or even a stuffed animal is gonna help you really drill in information in your head. And that's something I would do all the time. Overall recap, first, you're gonna organize your notes, then use active recall, quiz yourself, utilize flashcards. Then when you're busy, passively doing things, podcasts always helps. Fourth thing is make sure you're using AI as a personal tutor, asking it questions, explaining concepts, and asking it to correct you. And lastly, making a cheat sheet before the exam. Those are my five steps to acing any assignment. Let me know your favorite AI study tip in the comments and make sure to test out Turbo AI if you haven't already and come back for more videos like this on all things studying, productivity, lifestyle, travel, etc. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.